Hi, welcome back to Astro Peaks. Tonight I'm imaging the Flaming Star Nebula up in Auriga. Without further ado, let's get into it. channel. As I said tonight I'm imaging the Flaming Star Nebula up in Auriga and to do that I'm going to be using my William Optics Red Cap 250mm f4.9 and I'm using the Altair 183C one shot colour camera to capture that and to help bring out the detail in this in that nebula which is also a, um, it's a reflection as well as a, an emission nebula I'm using the Optolong L Enhance Triband filter. It's the two-inch mounted model. I've not used it on any uh, on any nebula so far, so this would be a good test of this. Um, I would say inexpensive filter. So happy to share the results with you later. So I'm going to go in now and start prepping for later on, and wait for it to go dark, and then we'll get everything set up and ready to go. As you know from my previous videos, I really do like to plan my sessions and understand what my, uh, my combination of camera and telescope are going to give me. Um, for this one, the Flaming Star, it's actually a bit of a bonus because the field of view that the of what the Red Cat will give me with that camera is actually nearly six degrees. So I can get in um, the tadpoles as well. Um, I'm only just missing out on the on the uh, fly nebula, the spider nebula and fly nebula. I might have a look at that at a future date and maybe use my Nikon full frame and see what I can get in. I might do that in a minute actually, but for the purpose of tonight, I'm going to get in the flaming star here and the tadpoles. Um, there's quite a bit of oxygen around, around the, the, like I said, it's actually a reflection and an em emission nebula. So it'd be interesting to see what I can draw out with that triband filter. It isolates both hydrogen alpha and beta and obviously oxygen. Um, but we'll see see what it what it draws out. Um, I may shoot three three and a half hours on um, uh, with the with the filter, and then I may take the filter out and just shoot an hour. One to try and get some natural star colour, and two it might just help with some contrast. I don't know. We'll give it a go and see what happens. I plan to shoot um, five minute subs. Obviously, it's going to be on my EQM thirty five Pro mount, a relatively lightweight mount. As they go. Um, it tracks really well to be honest I'm, i've been quite pleased with that lightweight mount it's great for, for a quick quick grab and go setup um and see what the, see what it brings out but i'll take some videos of me out in the garden when it goes dark setting up um and then we can track it through the night and see how it comes out off I switch it to live view and then I put the baton off mask on let's have a look how our focus in is do this so it's one on one okay so it needs to come in a little bit only a touch not much try that way see if I'm going the right way so I turned it clockwise to start with. Yep, going the right way. It's just going a fraction more. That should be about right. Good thing about the uh, red cat, it won't lose its focus. And it won't slip. Just a tad too much. It's going to bring it back the other way. It's only a fraction. Might be <laughs> so minute adjustments. Bit blurry let's wait for the next oh gotta go a fraction the other way what I might do is turn it back a bit that way it gives me that way there we go hopefully that's worked and 
anticipation. Oh, too far. It's almost there, just a fraction more. It's like a hair's width. I bet that's going to be too far. No, spot on. I'll take that. I'm just going to remove the batten off mask. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plate solve to um, last night's saving. So go to gear, go to point craft, objects, go to custom, and it should be there. So it should be at the bottom, and it should say tonight. There it is. So the coordinates are already pre saved. So you click on that, click on OK, and click on Go To. You should hear in the background the mount slewing. And what it'll do now, it'll take a series of photographs. It shouldn't take too long. So it's just going to settle and then it'll do a, a five second image, I think it is. I've got it set for. Yeah. And the plate solving is relatively quick. You'll see it do this in seconds. There you go. So you can make an adjustment, take another photograph. Not sure if you can hear the mount just doing fine adjustments there. photo that looks quite close from the cluster there in the middle that's right in the middle that cluster there is right in the middle yes yeah, he only did a very very fraction like minute step there uh, on this image yeah that star there is in the heart of the flaming star and there's a little cluster down here which is in the tadpoles and there's smack bang in the middle. It should solve and hopefully it should say success. Yep, now I'm going to sync this. If you wanted to store these coordinates like I did, you just click on that store button there and that's, that stores them into your memory. So it saves you um, trying to find them again in the future and it'll bring you back exactly, especially if you're doing different um, imaging sessions on different nights. Right, so guiding is done. Cameras at the right temperature. Let's select the plan. I'm doing five. Actually, I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll leave it as. You know, it says five minutes. So I'm going to do three minutes. I'm going to do gain 398, offset 124, pause between each one. And I'm going to do. Oh, the images. Uh, I'm just updating that so you make sure it transfers across. Okay. And it does differ. Um, it differs every other photo. So that'll be just helps with the noise control. Um, let's click the start button. Away we go. Yep. Guide graph there. Not too bad. Having a few guide balancing issues. The red cat's quite light on that mount. Um, really hard to find the right balancing, but it doesn't seem too bad tonight fine anyway i shall be back shortly apart from when i uh sat down at the beginning near the mount it's actually not too bad it's less than an arc second and for this little eqm that's that's pretty decent guiding to be perfectly honest 
I tried to aim to get it less than 1.2, 1.4 most, so less than one. I'm really, really happy with that. So some nice tight stars and uh, hopefully a nice resolved image. one out here now um, just done a meridian flip so I'm just going to do about another hour on these uh, pair of targets um, didn't quite get the framing as I wanted and it's quite tricky to use the rotator something to have a practice at first time using it so uh, something to have a practice and see how I can get on next time um, I've been doing three minute subs I just thought Rather than do five, let's do three. Try and double up, nearly double up on the data, and improve that signal to noise ratio, and see how that goes. Um, yeah, so like I said, about another hour, then I'll start doing the uh, flat frames. I've got a dark library, so I won't need to shoot those, thankfully, because that can add a significant amount of time. But luckily, with these cool cameras, you can do a dark library um, once or twice a year. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up having a look at some subs, just check for some star trails and um, I'll see you next time thanks for watching again, if you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it wish you all clear skies